How's it going, everybody? Time for another great Mr. Postal video. And Christmas 2022 is over. Uh, my son always gives me something that's a burp. interesting for Christmas. And two years ago, he got me Stretch Armstrong. And as you can see, I ordered him. His, his shorts were coming off. I added some nipples. Made of those. But uh, this is from the world's smallest collection. So look them up. They make a lot of great impulse buy type things, you know. Uh, he got me this, and this eventually led into, I think it was my very first official Mr. Postal video ever, the world's smallest He-Man Masters of the Universe figures. Uh, that was uh, one of my very first videos that I did. I did buy those, that collection. And now there's actually a He-Man Masters of the Universe World's Smallest 2 edition out that actually has Castle Grayskull in it. Uh, the rest of the ones that kind of come with it, there's another Skeletor. Uh, there's a Slime Pit He-Man that's just a green He-Man and for whatever reason a green Tila. So they could have come out with so many other characters. That's what they came out with. I am interested in getting the Castle Grayskull. Ah, uh, there's an Orko in there too. So... I probably will pick them up as a set, just because I have the first set. But looking back, I missed Panthor somehow. Uh, he wasn't in any of the sets that I found. Now, I found Panthor in a set that I could buy, but it also has the He-Man and the Skeletor that I already have and the Battle Cat that I already have. So, I don't know if i got to get them all that much. If I could find Panthor by himself, I would add it to the collection, but I haven't been able to do that. But these guys make a lot of other great stuff, just like slinkies, glow worms, etch sketches the smallest ones, you know, wacky packages. Uh, they have a garbage pail collection out now, <coughs> so that's pretty neat. But uh, I haven't bought anything more from them after... You know, my son got me started with the Stretch Armstrong, which was special just because my oldest brother had the original Stretch Armstrong, late 70s or whatever, early 80s. So I got the Masters of the Universe set when I saw it. And now this year for Christmas, he got me a world's smallest Viewmaster. But it's not just a Viewmaster. This is Masters of the Universe edition. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slides on this thing. I haven't opened it yet. I'm going to, but Masters of the Universe, why not? Viewmasters were awesome. Now, I didn't have the plasticky ones from the 80s, and I didn't even buy new reels or whatever you're going to call them in the 80s. I remember looking at them often at our Kmart. I remember looking at the original Thriller one with Michael Jackson, and that's when Viewmaster was making them kind of 3D, you know, and he turned into a thing and was had the eyes and everything. A whole lot of new ones then. The ones that we had... I'm going to say you're from the 1950s. One was my mother's, the other was my uncle's. But they were both at our house, and they had a whole box of reels. And back then, uh, they had like Woody Woodpecker and Bugs Bunny, and just a whole bunch, uh, just a ton of them, different Bible stories, e the Easter story. But it looked like they used little tiny 3D models. You could look like you could walk into it, you could grab them the little models, like you could play with the Woody Woodpecker or, or Bugs Bunny or whatever. Really cool. And uh, that my parents still have those in their closet at home somewhere, as far as I know. So I wouldn't mind having those one day. Uh, but, you know, that's really... They were really cool. They were the metal black ones. And later, you know, in the 80s, everything became plastic. So there are a few of these out there. The Viewmaster ones. You have the Masters of the Universe one that I have here. There's another one that was Barbie, he said. He actually saw it there and was going to get me that as a prank, but he decided to go with Masters of the Universe. And there's another one that's just their regular Viewmaster, the Red Viewmaster, and uh, it just has different other... I think it has Masters of the Universe and Barbie slides on it or whatever. So let's just open it up, and hopefully I can find a way. I'm hoping I can find a way... Because it looks like it's really only one eye hole since it's so small. You can't look through both since it's so small. But uh, hopefully I can find a way to film this so that you can see the images that are on this Viewmaster. So I'm going to cut it open with my handy dandy. I almost cut my friggin' hand there. And uh, let's see what's inside. <clears throat> 
butchering the packaging because, you know, whatever. I don't care. It's packaging. I hope y'all had a great holiday 2022. We're over now. We're getting ready for 2023. And there it is. It's out of the box or the plastic or whatever. And there's our Viewmaster reel. I do believe it goes in this way with Viewmaster facing out. We'll stick it down in there and now I can look through here and I can see the pictures and there's not really a story here. Uh, these aren't the original Masters of the Universe action figures. Well, there's He-Man that I'm looking at there. There's a sorceress. And there's a Skeletor and stuff. So it's neat for what it is. It goes in the collection. And like I said, I do like these tiny little things. I have the tiny Atari that's also by them that actually works. Uh, I have the uh, Stretch Armstrong and the first wave. Aside from Panthor, the first wave of the uh, action figures. So pretty cool in my opinion. There's He-Man right there. So I'm going to see if there's a way that you can actually see this in my video. Hopefully there is. And uh, we'll go from there, all right? Okay, so this is going to be tough, but let's see if we can do that. You can see my mess here in my house. Not my house, my garage. There's He-Man. Change the slide. And there's the Sorceress. Skeletor action there. And back to He-Man. Seven slides. So there you have it. That's what you get with this little tiny thing. Just a little, little tiny, tiny thing. Remaster. The only one eye hole works, obviously. You're not going to fit that right on your face. So, pretty neat. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Uh, do you have any of the world's smallest stuff? I got a mess everywhere. Don't look at my mess. Bitches. There's the Viewmaster. There, you can actually see the pictures easier here, huh? Uh, it's cool for what it is, for as cheap as it is. They could have done more, set up better figures, uh, the figures that we actually know maybe from the early 80s, but pretty neat just the same. So tell me what you think down below. Do you have any of this kind of stuff? It's neat for the collection. And like I said, I think I'm going to go ahead and buy Wave 2. Although I found all of them together, it's a little pricey. Uh, the Slime Pit He-Man, probably a bit of a rip-off, but... Uh, and the Tila too. I don't remember. There was no green Tila or whatever. But uh, yeah, I'll probably be uh, picking those up anyway, even though I don't do much collecting on toys. I really need that Panther from the first wave that I never saw was out. That's a bunch of bull because I don't want a uh, repeat Battle Cat and a repeat He Man and Skeletor. I just want the Panther. All right, thanks guys. I hope you had a great holiday season. We'll see you hopefully on the next one. Nacho, come here, Nacho. No biting, no bite. Ooh, no biting. Oh, Nacho, stop.